Atmos, who did really well at Encore recently. Speaking of Encore, you know, just very good coach. So, I mean, maybe we can see some very good, you know, ideas implemented. Yeah, Ness, um, I, uh, I, I'm personally, in, I like watching Ness a lot. I, Ness is like one of my most played uh, secondaries. Uh, so a little, little bit extra lore right there, but yeah, um, yes, I believe so. Um, so I think uh, I think this is actually a matchup Ness Queens, from what I've heard, do do really like. You know, Wolf's normally a pretty scary character, especially for like characters that aren't also top tier. You know, Wolf can shut them down with just his really good buttons. But Ness, I think, has a lot of ways to whip punish Wolf, who love to do a lot of like jump nares and such, you know. He has the tools to kind of combat Wolf's really good uh, options. And we're seeing a lot of that combatants coming in right there, taking out that first off with up smash. Very nice coming in from Mustard. Ooh. Whoa. Just piling on the damage. 56% already. And something people might not know about Ness is that if your disadvantage is not on point, if you're not ready for a lot of things that Ness has to throw at you, you can take obscenely high amounts of percent just from missing attack. You know, and that's kind of what we're just seeing right here. Mustard putting on a lot of damage. 91%, almost about a lap, um, you know, LR and H rep. But that back air is that. going to take it off. I will say, I'm uh, I'm not really liking how LA, LRA start is doing this matchup right now. They're, uh, they're just jumping into Ness, and that's all a Ness wants. All mm -hmm. a Ness wants is you to jump in so they can dash back, pivot grab, dash back, PK fire. Just give me those free openings, you know, and there's, there's so much holding forward from this wolf right now. And, I mean, Mustard's punching that very accordingly, you know. You can't just hold forward forever. You're gonna get, you're gonna get dash back grab. You're gonna Absolutely. get, I mean, we're just seeing it over and over. And, but not only to that, you know, no. It's more of a fact that, you know, LRA start should more be, oh. what? Wait, I do not know what that was. <laughs> oh. I was going to say that, you know, with punishing should be kind of one of your favorite thing. You know, Ness, do, Ness players do tend to go for a lot more aerials because that's exactly where they're starting out there, a lot of their damage. So being able to understand that you can, you know, at least use a lot of your good your tools because Wolf is really good at whiff punishing a lot of things. You really don't want to be whiff punishing against this character because you will get punished for it. But right here, you know, if you do manage to get in with Wolf, uh, you can do so much and so many backers coming out. Can't totally blame Mustard. Oh. But wow, look at that. What? What a, what a, some good fortune coming there. Able to like weave the tail hitbox so that Wolf kind of lands right in front of Ness. We see right here, it gets clipped by the tail and then you're like, oh, wait, where am I? And mm -hmm. That's crazy because it, like, that's probably one of your best tools as an S to actually, you know, make people scared of actually getting, you know, hit. So the fact that they kind of just like, you know, used up air, not really in too much of a good position, just really showed how bad it was for them. But we are having a switch to Rob instead of Wolf. So I, I like this personally. I think uh, the game, that game was really only close because uh, Mustard got that like according SD, but I think Mustard overall had like a really good read on that Wolf, even if he were to lose that game. Mm -hmm. So I, I think the switching it up with the Rob can be really beneficial, but wow, already almost 90% now. What a good start for Mustard. Ooh, missing that combo right there. And all at 103%. This is really good, you know, start from, you know, Mustard, just putting on a lot of damage, and 119%, they've been consistently doing really well at just holding their advantage and just making sure that LRA Strat, or Start, doesn't really have enough time to actually get back to the ground. Yeah, uh, also I liked when Edge Guarding using the PK Thunder, that's a you know, obviously a unique tool that Ness has, and Rob so much love to go really high because one character can catch them, but Ness says, I don't need to catch you, I have my giant ball of thunder to do it for me. Ooh, but smart gyro right there, just going in the space where Ness is going to be. Gonna miss that up to oh. the up there, and missing that up smash while at it because of how small Ness is. Ooh, and now this is twice that Mustard's been punished for those PK Thunders that I was talking about. Good read on the World of the Center stage, but um, you gotta be careful because Rob has that giant laser and the gyro to cover the space where Ness is gonna be doing that PK Thunder. 
I definitely love a lot of the situations that we've seen Mustard just be at ledge. But, you know, using that fair, not really catching anything, is going to spell death for Mustard. And now we just kind of need to see a situation where we just go back into neutral a little, or not neutral, go back to a batch a little bit more because that's exactly where a lot of these characters struggle with, not being able to just land properly. And right here, we're actually seeing Mustard kind of take the role of the grass suit, and it's clearly not paying off, actually. It's right here, a bit of a deficit forming. This is looking like a really good lead for LR Dart, but is this gonna be not gonna be a combo just entirely? Yes, getting that you know stage position right there. This could be so scary. It's looking like you know Ness being a little bit small makes it a little bit harder for Rob to actually get those confirmed. So yeah. that back air taking that second stock and we. And really, what's giving LRA start this really big shift and now getting the lead is that he's not the one holding forward anymore, but rather Mustard is kind of just jumping, jump fairing, landing, PK firing, just totally trying to force the issue and get it, force an opening, and that's just not going to work against Rob. Rob has such good tools to totally shut that down. Absolutely, and not only that, just saw a little position where they were trying to catch a landing. Not really working out too well for them, and... I like that PK Thunder right there. Uh, creative way to get back on stage. Ooh, nice match. Never really see people try to match out. At least I never bother, but... Good stuff from LRA start. Ooh, what's gonna go for a smash attack? Just not right in the right position, and gonna die from that back air. It was looking like Rob might have been the answer for LRA start right there. Yeah. It was really, like, I think, honestly, Mustard, it almost looked like he was playing a little nervous. I wonder, you know, he did request to be on stream. I wonder if he's a bit nervous playing on stream. Mm -hmm. But just he just tried to force an issue so much after that second stock. Like, he even had a lead. He took the first stock, and then he just really played super aggro, and it was not beneficial. So I think Mustard's going to have to do what got him in such good spots game one, which is stay there and let the punish come to you. Let, mm. let them do a landing aerial that you can dash back, PK fire with punish. Don't, um, don't totally just hold forward. And not only that, a lot of the times when they were at ledge, where they were just somewhere you know, in the air, we were seeing a lot of situations where LRA start was actually punishing them for that. So um, I feel like what we might be hoping to see a little bit better is, you know, Mustard trying to maneuver their way a little bit better out of a lot of what Rob has. You know, we do know that Ness has really good movement, very hard to hit, so being able to make sure that with the fact that you are very small, you are still getting a lot more bang for your buck. You know, as we're at this percent right now where Mustard is at 109%, and this is not something that we want to see, and that up air is absolutely going to take it. Yeah, a really um, unadvised landing back there for Mustard. There's no world that's really hitting anyone, and it just lets you get a free, um, just lets Rob get the free up air on you. Um, so I think we're, we're going to have to see some less button pressing for Mustard. I know Ness likes to press a lot of buttons, and he has great buttons, but you got to be careful. But that was clean. That was a really nice mix up going under, kind of looking like you're going to PK fire, and or PK thunder yourself, and then you get Rob. Pun, pun intended. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, so that was definitely not where Mustard wants to be, and it's looking like they're crumbling under the pressure because right now they're only on their second stock, and it might be really hard for them to actually, you know, start putting on the damage. You know, only 41%, you know, it's not everything, but you're only a stock down, and you need to find some way to kill, and you being at this percent is not going to be good for you. Yeah, this is... It's looking really rough because you're going to have to just be super creative with how you find opening to this point if you're Mustard, and then somehow manage to just, like, get really nice string on Rob, which is so difficult because Rob is, has the ability to just, like, fly away from situations, you know? Um, so it's going to be... It's going to be tough, but it's not possible. Oh. 
<laughs> oh boy. What good is rolling away when the yo-yo covers roll two? Kind of a tricky situation to be in for LRA start. Totally, don't totally blame him. But finally able to catch that air dodge after the up tilt, but not killing quite yet. And now there's a thousand things Ness has to look out for. That up air being one of them. Well, clean stuff from Mustard right there. You know, just held his ground, let Ness come to him, and punished accordingly. Absolutely, very nice coming in from LRA start. Was looking a little bit, you know, iffy, very rough for that first game, but was able to clean it up and take this set. Now, while we're at it, we have to actually mention who we're gonna see next.